<laughs> Hello, everyone. How is everyone doing? It is Mesh Yourself here. Today, we are reacting to actually happened. Okay, yeah, this is actually happening. We're reacting to actually happened. <laughs> so there is this fairly new YouTube channel called Actually Happened. And what they do is they take in your personal stories, all right? So if you have a story which you think is worth telling, okay, you can write these guys an email. And what they will do is that they will use a voice actor and they will animate your story and make a YouTube video on it, all right? And honestly, like some of their videos are very, very good, you know, because they've got some very good like personal stories which you know you might learn a little something about you know something or whatever you know so yeah this channel is, is quite similar to like a channel which I'd be reacted to with a story booth where they they also you know animate people's stories but these ones are like voice acted all right but I do think they are very good all right so I really recommend you guys go down the description check out their YouTube channel all right because they're they've on 600,000 subscribers they're blowing up right now and they're gonna hit a million soon all right so yeah, go check them out. They've got some great videos. Okay, so they have a bunch of videos and personal stories, all right? So the first one that I want to check out is my parents divorced and made me choose, all right? Now, I've talked about this so much in my story booth series, all right? But yeah, like, I can't imagine what a child has to go through, you know, when their parents get divorced, all right? And the worst thing to think of for a child is for them to think it's their fault, all right? So yeah, I can't stress that message enough, all right? So yeah. Yeah, let's go check out this person's story. Hi, Hi. I'm Ruth. Ruth? My story is kind oh. of sad. Is she sad? it's about my parents' recent divorce. Oh no! It's still a bit hard for me to speak about. Oh but no! But I think it is important to oh. share my story. And yeah. maybe help some of you to come out of a situation like oh, that. Oh man, I First, love that. a bit of background. Okay, My background. parents were married for 20 years. 20! And in my eyes, They've always been an ideal couple. Oh, they were no. Different, but I thought it was that classic case when two people complete each other. Just oh, like two puzzle pieces. He man. is a big man. Quiet oh. man. Always oh. with a kind smile for anyone. He's daddy. My mom is I the exact daddy. opposite. Oh, no. She is always talking, doing oh. something, laughing oh. noisily, okay. and making scandals with anyone. Oh, she's a what fighter. What do they have in common? Me. Oh. I'm a single child. And they both adore me. Oh, she's a I single child. Both, but I've always been a mother's baby. Oh. I never had a problem to answer that stupid question. She loves they her always mom. ask kids. Okay. Whom do you love more? <laughs> mom. Mom. Is always the answer. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie. All right. Sorry, Dad, if you're watching this. All right. Uh, let's be honest. My dumbass dad ain't watching this video. Yeah, no, I'm a mama's boy. All right. I gotta admit. All right. I love my mom. All right. Mom was always the answer. Mom's always Sometime the answer. Sometime after my 15th right. birthday, 15. my parents called me for a talk. Oh, I hate she's that. split. We talk stuff. Oh no. So I got pretty nervous at once. Oh no. My bad premonitions were correct. Oh. As I heard that phrase, every child dreads. Divorce. We decided that we need to divorce. Oh, you are grown up. No. And I hope you understand us. Oh. Well, I acted very understanding. Yeah, and you And I didn't up. even ask a thing. Oh. But one thing was bothering me. How oh. come didn't I notice yeah. that we were not getting along anymore? Man. Can it be that I was living in a world of rainbows and unicorns? Oh. While such a huge crack in my family was growing, all of a sudden, our life became a real hell. Oh, man. See, this is what I hate, you know? Like, kids, like, there's so much stuff your parents do not tell you, okay? Your parents will never tell you everything, all right? Because they just don't want to, like, hurt you or, like, you know, they want, they're thinking about your feelings and stuff. But it kind of backfires in some cases, you know, when you don't have that sort of communication, you know, with your children because, you, you know, like, one second, a child is happy, you know, and thinking life is a certain way. But, like, when you hit them with like a train like with with this sudden you know like um information that you you know you don't love each other anymore it's 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 gonna be a lot for them to handle you know they started the process like oh, two civilized people oh. and kept it up like that dividing assets oh Until the dividing assets common, most precious thing oh no huh? which is me oh each of them wanted to make me live with him oh and was ready no. to stand their ground this Mom, poor girl dad I'm still an alive person, yeah. not a thing. Maybe you will ask me. Finally, it was Why decided she just that spend as far time as I am nearly a grown-up, I'm supposed to make a choice oh, on my own. Oh, she has to make a choice. To communicate it in court. In wow. court? Oh. I knew I would need to grow up one day, Man. but didn't expect to do it so soon. So much we were for still a young girl. We three together. 
Oh. But this was not our nice cozy home anymore. Oh, this I noticed poor, oh, one thing. Oh, she's in the middle of it. Me a lot. My what? mom tried to win my affection in any possible way. Oh, she started no. buying me expensive stuff. She tried to she convince took me her. Out to enjoy ourselves in spa and restaurants. Oh, and man. all in all, she started acting more like my best friend than like my oh, mother. She wants it you to nice, stay with her. But didn't give me a good feeling. Yeah. The worst was that when we were alone, she oh. always tried to convince me oh. that my dad was a weak person. No. Or he was too busy to give me attention. No. And other not very nice things. Oh, no, I hate that. Oh, my God. This is even worse. You know, like, like regardless of the stuff that's going on in their personal marriage and in their love life, this is still her father at the end of the day, you know? And, like, that's just not fair to sort of brainwash your kids to make them hate their own parents. I feel sorry for this poor dad. My dad in all this, oh. he was acting like he already lost. Oh. Was there sad, oh, no. eating his dinners all alone, oh. and looking at me like a kicked dog. Oh. Right before the court, I accidentally overheard something super painful. Whoa. Mom and dad were having a private talk. A fight. She said, if you claim that you don't have possible ways to take care of Ruth, oh. I will let you see her freely anytime. Otherwise, wow. I will accuse you to be violent. And will do what? anything to limit your parent time. What? This mother said that she's going to threaten that, you know, the, the husband's been violent with her? That is something that you should not, like, lie about. Oh, my goodness. This poor dad. Oh, his life's falling apart because of this marriage. He, I mean, first he loses his wife and now he's going to lose his daughter. Do as I say. Oh. Because you know that anyway, she'll choose me. Oh, man. It was like I was hit by lightning. That's so sad. My eyes and she heard it. Once on how manipulative my mom was all the time. Yeah, man. And this blackmailing was horrible. That is horrible. I heard dad giving up to her just to oh. have the possibility to see me. Oh, he I was just overwhelmed to see his and made my decision. Oh. Next day to everyone's shock, oh. I said that I wanted to remain with my dad. No. My mom looked like slapped in the face. Whoa. My dad burst into tears right there in oh. front of everyone. Oh. After I remained to live with my dad and mom left, oh. I had a very bitter feeling. Uh -oh. With our friendship finished, oh, no. she called me from time to time just to tell me what an ungrateful traitor I was. What? I didn't know what to answer her. What? What kind of mother would say that to their daughter? Oh my goodness, man. This is bad, man. Yeah, like, I oh, I feel so bad for these kids that have, like, these bad, weird relationships with their parents. Yeah, I, I, I honestly, all right, like, I could not imagine being an only child, all right? And she's having to go through this by herself. I've got a lot of respect for all the only children, you know, uh, out there in this world, man. Because, yeah, like, honestly, I just think your life is so much better when you have siblings, in my opinion. After all, she's oh, my mom, she's and I mom. love her. And she I still didn't her. think I had done anything wrong, though. <laughs> she, you haven't. At the same time, my dad was absolutely happy, Aww. always caring, always asking for my opinions, Aww. and giving me nice treats. He loves her. I got lots of freedom. Good. It was really handy for a 15-year-old girl. Yeah, you're but growing up. I tried to abuse that freedom. Uh, oh no, she's I gonna abuse to go it. overnight to a music festival. Oh, and my she's dad 15. this time was firm to say that he wouldn't let me go. Yeah, yeah, you're 15 years old and you want to go to an overnight festival, all right? Yeah, if my child just said, said this to me, all right, I'll be like, shut up, you stupid girl, all right? Wait till you're at least like 16, 17, all right? I mean, no, 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 not, not even that. No, 18, all right? I don't know, actually. I, I would say I would, you know, go with her, you know, and 16, you know, I would want her to go, you know, with some friends that I know and trust, you know? and I know their parents too, too, you know, but yeah, like, I hate these kids that are growing up too fast, you know, listen to your parents, they're just looking out for you and your safety, you know? I was too young. I yeah, cried you're too and young. yelled, but he said it oh. wasn't something I could negotiate. Yeah, just, Despite just, to go, what's the big deal? I suddenly shouted at him, <gasps> no. you know what? If no. you don't let me go, no. I will call mom and ask her to let me live with her. No. That kicked dog expression came back at <laughs> once on my dad's face. He just said, Okay, oh, do whatever you like. Oh, this poor And guy. left my room silently. I stood there, unable to believe how much he I screwed up. to be with you. I just you. blackmailed my dad. Oh. I was so ashamed of myself. Good, I realized man. how much of my mother's traits I had myself. Oh, man. The same traits of shameless manipulator so, yeah. I detested her for. You learned it from your but mother. Soon, I also realized... I can understand her a little bit more now. Oh, okay. She manipulated me and blackmailed mm. my dad. 
because yeah, she was she did. so desperate. And she did Aww. it for something way more serious than my little teenage whims. Aww. This realization helped me learn to control myself a little bit better. Good, and man. And soon got me closer to my mom again. Good! I understood she was not a villain. Yeah, she just... just used her own ways in a yeah. moment of desperation. Yeah, she just loves so, you. So guys, maybe my story will help you to overcome Aww. the aftershock of your parents' divorce. Yeah, it's okay. Look into yourself. And you'll find the traits that you have in common with your parents. <laughs> Maybe after all, you will understand them Aww. better and live in peace with their situation and yourself. Oh, man, what a great story. Oh, man, yeah. See what I mean? Like, I can't even imagine, you know, the stuff that these people are going through, man. Yeah, like divorce, you know, is is, is such like a, a an adult thing to sort of experience, you know, and going through that as a kid, you know, I feel so bad, but honestly, you know, this girl, you know, I mean, she's just so, she's so like level-headed and, you know, she's so mature about everything, you know, but yeah, like take this girl's advice if you are going through something like this, you know, or have gone through something like this, you know, like just because your parents get divorced, you know, it, it it's not your fault, you know, and you know, you can still live an amazing, happy life and still keep a very strong relationship with both your parents, you know, Man, that was such a beautiful story, man. I, I loved it, honestly. All right, so the next animation that we're going to be checking out is my first boyfriend took advantage of me. Now, I have said this so many times in previous videos, okay? You do not trust boys, okay? Especially these teenage boys, all right? They only want some bad, bad things, okay? All right, do not trust boys, all right? Always have your wits, all right? And don't just madly fall in love with boys, all right? And listen, all right? Because they'll say stuff just so that they'll, like, you know, can do whatever they want with you, all right? So, yeah, just be careful, all, all you girls watching out there, okay? And, yeah, guys, respect women a bit more. Jesus Christ, all right? What are you, an idiot, okay? They say that first love is oh. something you will never forget. Oh, it's our first love. In my case, I will never forget it. Oh. Because it taught me a lesson I will keep through all my life. Oh no, what did this bot boy do happened. to you? <laughs> and I was 15 at the time. 15? Listen to what happened. Oh no, this poor 15 year old. I was at school when all my huh? female friends suddenly started getting boyfriends. Oh no. Our age or a bit older. Oh. I was looking at them clearly envious. Uh, I was why? the prettiest one. Oh. But I was also ready for my first romantic story. Damn, man. I was the only single among my friends. I don't... Who cares? It felt really awkward when we went out and they brought their dates with them. <laughs> oh, she's... Oh, but okay. One day, All right. my prayers were heard. Oh, okay. I went to the mall alone. She's going to the mall. as I was hanging around... Oh, no. A guy came up to me to oh. ask my number. Who are you? We oh. chatted for a while. Oh, no. I thought he was quite attractive. Okay. And a fairly interesting person to talk to. Okay. When Be I careful. came home... He sent me a message and we started chatting. All right. We chatted and chatted, chatted nearly and chatted. all night through. Aww. And by 9 a.m., when I came to school, I was head over heels in love. <laughs> so wait, what? You 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 talked to her for talked to him for one day and you're in love with this guy already, man. All right, yeah, girls, all right. You need to control your emotions a little bit more, all right? Yeah. Why do some girls fall in love? You can't just be like a hopeless romantic. All right, have some wits about you, all right? You know, it, it, life isn't like a Disney like fairy tale, all right? After school, okay. we agreed to meet up for a cup of coffee. All right. How old is when this I guy? I saw him again. I felt my heart beat faster. And it's Aww. hard to breathe. Oh, she love really likes him. Joe, and he was 19. 19? <gasps> oh, oh! What the hell? This is this girl's 15 and she likes a 19-year-old boy? Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, this is absolutely disgusting. Okay. Yeah, I mean, first off, all right, she's underage, man. What is with this creepy guy? All right, yeah, if you guys didn't know, all right, if a boy is 19 years old and he starts liking a 15-year-old, it means that he's an ugly loser who can't get girls his own age. So he has to prey on these underage girls. Ugh. I mean, I know they say age is just a number and everything, but yeah, like that's 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 that's, that's a bit too weird. All right. I mean, at least you know, keep it like like 16 to 18, you know. But yeah, like 15, I think you're still a bit too young, you know, for that kind of stuff. You know, uh, yeah, be careful, all right, because yeah, this 19 year old boy, all right, what is going through this guy's head? Ugh, creepy weirdo guy. I hate people like this. A desperate loser. That's what I call him. And he was. 19. He was nine. Uh, it was pretty uh, thrilling that he was so much older than me. Yeah, I'm sure he it is. He turned his attention to humble me. Uh, While yeah. we were taking coffee, I couldn't yeah. take my eyes off of him. Oh, and he no. He was so very interested in my life. She's falling for him. Questions. Yeah. Then he took my hand uh, 
and it felt like an electric charge in my fingers. Okay. At um, the end of our date. Oh. Yes. It was a real day. <laughs> he gave me a slight kiss. Oh. I was the happiest girl in the universe. Oh. I made a selfie with him to have a material proof that it was not a dream. <laughs> okay, take a picture with Next him. Next day, I couldn't keep it to myself. Wow. I came to school and I told everything to my friends and showed them our selfie. Oh, no, what are friends going to say? I smiled in disbelief and yeah. asked if I was sure he wasn't too old for yeah, me. Yeah, he's too old. I snorted. Even this your friends know. This was just pathetic. Uh, In the meantime, he was texting me all the time. Uh, I was at the lessons and couldn't respond at once. See, and he wrote a... me angry messages if I delayed an answer. What? Okay, all right. Yeah, red flags. All right, Jesus Christ. All right, I hate when I hear stuff like this. All right, just because you love someone doesn't mean, you know, that they have, like, bad... Like, they, they won't have bad traits, you know? And, yeah, like, you should respect yourself, you know? And be like, yeah, this is where I draw the line, Joe. <laughs> All right, don't send me threatening text messages, all right? Because I am that sort of person, you piece of shit. Oh, so oh. cute, I thought. Oh. He cares so much. Nope. When I came He's home, a weirdo. I posted to my mom I had found a oh. boyfriend and told to her To your mom? Oh, she what? Frowned, Come on, mom. Looked at the selfie. Come on, mom. Frowned even more. Say something. I disapprove, she yeah. said. Me too. He's too old for Too me, old. And you will get problems with him. Yeah. Come on, mom. I just ignored. What? And mom didn't insist. What? She had always been giving me quite a lot of liberty. Wow, yeah, yeah, that, that, that's, that, that's where I would draw the line, honest to God, you know. Why are so, so many parents afraid of parenting their kids? You know, like, yeah, so what? You know, your, your kid will be angry and upset, you know? But yeah, come on now, like, it's like, it's like your parents don't remember what it's like being a 19-year-old kid or a 15-year-old girl, you know? Like, Jesus Christ, all right? I know what boys are like, okay? And they're weird-ass people, okay? I'm telling you that right now. I'm kidding, all right? Most guys are okay. All right, that was just a joke. All right, yeah, I hope most guys are like that. But yeah, there are some very weird guys out there. All right, and that's that's the truth. Especially ones that would date a 15-year-old when they're 19. Red flag number one right there. So I entered my love story oh. without common approval. Uh-oh. And that was okay for me uh -oh. as far as my new boyfriend, Joe, was interested in me. Ugh. He kept boyfriend? messaging me, and we met nearly every day. Oh, no. Unfortunately, Don't do anything. he refused to meet my friends and told me that he didn't want me to meet his. Okay, uh, red flags? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if this boy loves you so goddamn much. Yeah, why isn't he showing you with his friends, all right? And why isn't he taking interest in you and in your life, okay? Yeah, how many red flags do you got to see before you realize, yeah, Joe ain't like a cup of Joe, all right? He's a piece of shit. He's a cup of shit. I should have said that. All right, man, I missed that joke. I agreed because I thought oh. that keeping our relationship half secret is very romantic. Wow, how delusional Sometimes some girls, man. he became pushy with me. Oh. Apart from the fact that I was supposed Red to flag? respond him at once, he yeah. always made me meet him anytime he wanted. Wow. Even if it wasn't comfortable for me. See, he doesn't it care. pretty often. And I was getting a bit nervous because of this. Uh, I also yeah. didn't like that sometimes oh. he gave me a lift home in the evening. Oh. He got a little handsy. Oh. I was so in love with him uh, that I accepted it. Okay. But I didn't you feel didn't... comfortable about it. Then uh, if you if you don't feel about comfortable about something, then, you know, it's okay to be like, you know, yeah, I don't feel comfortable about this. You know, can you just leave me alone? You creepy ass Joe kissing me, okay? Still, I loved oh. him so much. Much. No and bad he was the news. Most beautiful. Oh. The smartest. Oh. And all in all, oh. the best boyfriend oh. for me. No, he's not. All but right. One day, How? I got my eyes open. Oh, thank you. We were supposed the Lord. to meet at 6 p.m. near the mall. But okay. I a bit earlier. Okay. I saw Joe with other guys and he was chatting happily. Oh, his friends. I was glad that finally he could present me to them and I Yeah, now we'll see the true girlfriend. Joe. Now I we'll see him. Up to them. Joe right. not seeing me. All right. And I heard what he was saying. What was he saying? You know, I got that 15-year-old idiot who's madly <gasps> in love with me. Idiot! And she is sure I am her soulmate. She's ready to do anything I want. What? You know what I mean? See? And they were all roaring with laughter. Oh! I froze. Oh! It was as if someone had given me a punch in the stomach. This poor girl! I first wanted to leave, but then frustration and anger rose in <laughs> Oh, damn! I directed myself <laughs> towards them. Oh. And facing Joe made a monologue about him being a pathetic moron. Whoa! In a nutshell, I said... She confronted him! You think you are funny taking advantage of a nice, humble girl? Yeah! At least I've been sincere all the time. Yeah! <laughs> and now think how cool you are having a 15-year-old idiot shouting at you in front of everyone. Whoa. 
What? I left with dignity. Oh! Last thing I noticed was his expression of embarrassment. Yeah, good. And amused faces of his friends that I hope will remember this episode long enough. Yeah, what a loser, man. I came home all in tears and oh. ran to my mom for support. See? A wise woman. Oh. She told me it would pass. But she she learned a lesson, a to be lesson. fair, you know. And indeed, I did. Man. And it was useful for me all the relationships to come. Oh, okay, for good. For that moment, I was more attentive to what people I am with really represent. Yeah. And what my friends and family think about them. Yeah. I'm glad that that episode was my first step towards the maturity. Good. Man, what a great story, man. Yeah, okay, yeah. I like how, you know, she summed it up at the end, you know, because, yeah, like, you know, she did mature from that situation, and I'm glad, you know, it, 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 it stopped there, you know. Imagine if she didn't come, like, to the mall early, though, you know. She would have just been as just as delusional, you know, right? When I joke around about saying don't trust boys, you know, uh, like, like, I know I'm just joking when I say that, but the truth is, you know, you should be smart and have your wits, you know, and, you know, uh, like, trust people who are very trustworthy back, you know, and, yeah, just don't, just make sure you're not taken advantage of, you know, but, yeah, what a, what a great story, you know, yeah, take this girl's advice, what a beautiful story. Okay, the next animation that we're going to be watching is I Lost My Right Arm, <laughs> so it's a story about some, some boy losing an arm, how, 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 how do you lose an arm, okay, yeah, I just misplaced my arm, you know, just lost it you know hello hello i'm jack hello and i'm, I'm jack. a regular guy hello a jack slightly unusual story hello all right yeah you lost an arm apparently a change in my life lately okay i would like to tell you about <laughs> yeah <laughs> i was an absolutely normal kid okay my life was no different from any others so okay school, Friends, school. yeah yeah sports. you're a kid hobbies all right oh and then something bad happened. it all happened you lost your arm <laughs> and i was sure that my life was over oh oh no what can it be you wonder he actually lost his arm i lost nearly all of my right arm wow right in an arm absolutely idiotic way man i love my right arm my dad was mowing the grass okay i was passing by Oh. Stumbled over something oh. and fell right under the lawnmower. Oh, as one it was idiot! Passing <gasps> by. Oh no! Into the lawn because I was in shock of pain. Oh! There was a lot of screaming. Oh! I'm not sure if it was mine or dad's. What about the blood? Dark red blood, like in a splatter movie. Oh! Then darkness came. Oh god! Oh, he's dead. I woke up in the hospital, still in lots of he pain. He passed out. But this time, it was bearable. Wow! I saw sitting by my side. Mom what? crying oh. and dad pale as hell. Oh. That is when I found out that my arm had literally been shredded and the doctor what? didn't manage to save it. Ow! I that was her! I didn't time what it brought to me and was just glad to be alive. Yeah, true, you're alive. I understand came you know? a bit later. Man. As they kept me in the hospital, I understood that I could literally do nothing. Oh. As I am a right-hander, yeah. and as I was very weak, me too. I didn't manage to coordinate with my left hand. I mean, it's not that hard, you know, pick this up, all right. Uh, uh. And that I would soon adapt, okay. especially if I follow the adaptation Yeah, program. you will adapt eventually, she you know. She also said that after some time, I would get a prosthetic arm. Ooh, okay. That would make okay. look normal. I That's good. I started to train at the hospital and continued at home. Okay, so of he's getting course, used to not having an arm. I school for some time. Yeah, and of course. obviously, I had to forget about sports and guitar oh, playing. Oh, no. I like so much. Oh. Worst thing was that I didn't adapt after all. Oh, I couldn't do anything with my left arm, oh. ride or dress myself, or even eat with a spoon. Oh, I, was trying I couldn't my eat? Best, but I felt like an ultimate creep, as the situation didn't improve. Jeez. So I started falling in a black depression. Oh, just he's getting depressed. Oh. And was just sitting in my room all day long, watching TV because it didn't engage arms. Oh, man. Poor guy, you know. My parents had to talk to my doc. And she oh. said that I need to go back to school to get some social life. Yeah, I think I that's good. I couldn't get my fake arm, though. Oh. It was too early. Oh, it was too young. I was afraid to go back to my friends. Well, maybe it is. Okay. Who knows how they'd take it. It was all right oh. after all. Oh, okay. Even though I couldn't do all the same things I used to good. together with them. The friends are supporting also him. due to the fact that my left hand was still useless. Yeah. I needed to ask for their help oh, all the time. And they're helping this him. This was pathetic. Oh, it's not pathetic, Even okay. Worse was the fact that during my absence, a new girl came to school. Oh, a new girl? I really, really liked when I saw uh, her. Oh, no, but you've got no arm. I tried to get my shelf and ask her out once. Oh. If I had been uh, healthy, I maybe could have chances. Maybe. But now she just looked but, at me with sympathy. Oh. 
You know, Jack, I think it's not the case. Oh. Well, you understand. It's not and the just case. Left me standing there oh. like a complete idiot. Oh. <laughs> oh man, that's so bad, you know, but like yeah, yeah, that girl was probably going to turn you down anyway, honestly. It didn't make me feel much better. Oh no, I, all, I bet it, it was wouldn't. A super down moment of my life. Oh man. I was man. Just so passively trying to get accustomed to my new condition. Okay, come on, you can do also, it though. Time came for a prosthetic arm. There you go. That's going to help. As far as I was still unable to be operational using my left hand. Get the new it arm was then. A little comfort. Okay, get I the new arm. I about those bionic arms. Whoa. That's, that's actually cool. substitute a missing arm with all of its movements. Whoa. One of these would be a perfect solution in my case. That's cool. But my family isn't very rich. Oh, it costs and a lot of money. If I tried very hard, I would be able to buy it in many years. So yes. Oh, this poor kid. I will have to adapt to what I have now. At least I'm oh. alive. I repeated. Oh, good. I mean, yeah, you are lucky to be alive. Oh, but this poor a kid, couple honestly. Of days before I was supposed to order my fake arm, oh, I came okay. home from school and found a surprise party for me. Oh. With all my relatives, friends, and even Wow. I didn't understand a thing. My B day was in four months. Oh. When they explained to me, <gasps> they I just sat down astonished and oh. couldn't say a word. Yeah, I know what they did. I couldn't believe it. They My saved... family raised the money from yeah. everyone who knew oh, me. Oh, that's and so sweet. And I would be getting sweet. a new bionic arm. Oh, everyone I would a pitched in. <laughs> a cyborg. <laughs> For God's sake, that day was definitely the happiest in my life. Oh. I couldn't stop thanking God, universe, or whoever else for all of those people who Yeah, the me. people around you. That's how you got to help. When I came to school with my new bionic arm, He's got the arm. I became a star at once. Wow. I had already trained myself pretty well and Good. was able to do the finest movements with it. He, he loves the arm. I my schoolmates who were just asking me to show another time how it works. Cool, Each they like it. donated his pocket money to make me happy. They all I donated. I got a nickname <gasps> that was the Terminator. <laughs> the Terminator. <laughs> As a cherry on the cake, there came that girl that I liked so much. Oh. Who asked me, is your oh. proposal still valid? Whoa. Would you like to go out and show me how this thing works? Whoa. I'm a proud person. Oh. And that is why my answer was, Whoa. I think that's not the case. Oh. Well, you understand. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, get wrecked. <laughs> he just shot down this new girl. <laughs> yes, my dude. Okay. Yeah, you are a proud person. Man. Okay. That took a lot of guts and a lot of courage. Okay. This poor girl. All right. Well, I mean, I mean, yeah, you can't help. I mean, yeah. Why did she say no in the first place then? All right. What? Well, She's only interested in you now when you're the popular guy in school, when you got this cool Terminator uh, nickname now. But oh my God, he absolutely wrecked her. All right, what, what, a, what a slayer. Be gone. I think that's not the case. Well, you understand. <laughs> oh. Now as a Terminator, oh. I know that there is no sense to give up. Yeah, as hell yeah, man. As you have people around you who wish you happy. Wow. And to those who like you only when you're cool, I wow. can say only... Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> like the Terminator. Ah. <laughs> okay, cool. Oh, that was such a great story, man. Yeah, he ha he hung in there, man. But yeah, like you got to appreciate like the people around you at that point, man. Yeah, like this this boy had so many people around him that actually cared enough, you know, to the point where they all pitched in and saved up, man. Like, yeah, that must have been expensive, a whole prosthetic arm. But yeah, what a great story, man. Yeah, like come on now, now guys. All right, we should all feel like lucky and appreciate like. Like, even the, the stuff that we have, like, our own arms, you know? Like, yeah, there's some people out there who aren't as lucky, you know, and have to deal with certain stuff, you know? But, yeah, like, come on, guys, all right? If this guy can get through life and have such a positive outlook on life with only one arm, you know, I think the rest of us can, too. Okay, we are going to check out one more animation from this channel. And if you want to watch more, feel free to go down in the description and check out their YouTube channel. The video that I want to watch now is my family got robbed because I posted too much i guess on social media oh my god yeah please do not like please be careful you know when you're posting online all right because you don't know who that is looking at it so so what i'm guessing that she went away from her house you know and she posted about it and then p thieves came to her house oh my lord hi, hi. i'm april i april. have a story and okay. a warning for you oh a warning. my story is a very typical one yeah i adore using social media yeah, but and sometimes <laughs> <don't post>. exaggerate <laughs> 
My okay. warning is that when you exaggerate with social media, yeah. it can bring unexpected and unpleasant results. Yeah, yeah. This Be is what happened to me. Oh, no. When I entered a new high school, I got okay. lots of new friends at once. All right. I'm a very sociable person, and okay. I have always had lots of friends in real life. Okay. So before I was 14 or 15, I never even bothered updating my social profiles more right. often than yep. once a month. Yes, you got addicted to social media. All right. It happens. All right. Jesus. What dangerous info can you find oh. in a profile of a 15-year-old girl? Oh, no. I didn't even think about how much personal information can be found in my social media profiles. Oh. I thought, if you don't put your real name or home address or phone number in your posts, okay. you're totally anonymous. Oh, wrong. wrong. Actually, there are always online Sherlocks who can oh. find all your personal data, uh -oh. basing even on your stupid selfies you post every day. Yeah, the there is. is that this information can be used against you and your relatives. Relatives oh, and cause no. you a lot of trouble. Oh, yeah, One day, true. my parents gave me marvelous news. Oh, okay. In the summer, we're going to Paris. Oh, Paris, they're going away. Can you imagine <laughs> Tour Eiffel, Montparnasse, <laughs> Mona Lisa? Tour Eiffel. Hilarious. <laughs> the only thing Hilarious. my dad asked me was not to tell anyone the exact dates of our trip. Yeah. Because as he explained, it was quite a long trip and yeah. it could be dangerous to inform the whole world that we were leaving. Yeah. I agreed. But but, but, but well, who cares? <laughs> who cares? Try to keep this information from your best friends when they're asking. Oh. So after all, it was not a secret for anyone. Yep, and she a trip told to everyone. Paris was such a reason to boast and get envious comments. Oh. I was taking pictures of each step of my preparation. She cares from new too much. I had bought to packing my suitcase and tickets I had printed out. Obviously She's with names and departure date. Wow. Everything was posted online and approved no. by likes. I made a check-in at the airport. Oh. A picture of the plane, clouds from above. Oh. I tagged myself at Charles de Go Airport. And yep. for the next two weeks, I reported my every step. Oh. I even posted pictures of my food. My improvised travel blog had lots of success. <laughs> and I considered it a moment of my glory. <laughs> you need to pay for everything. Oh, After no. my last tag at the airport before flying home, I okay. considered my job done and relaxed. And then I remained she calm goes back until home. we came home and found it half empty. Oh, no. We got burgled while we were absent. No. While my dad was calling the police all panicky, I was no. checking my belongings and found out they took everything valuable. Wow. Even my 20 buck stash. Wow. Horrible. The police came at once and checked the crime scene. Man. I, of course, took a picture of the policeman investigating my house. <laughs> Can you imagine what a story it would be? They found certain signs that it was a well-known game who specialized in burglaries while families were on vacation. No. He claimed that, as far as they knew, the gang members collected information on their victims in their social accounts. Wow. Impossible. My dad was oh, incredulous. No, the dad's Neither of us out. posted anything online about the trip. We were attentive. No. Oops. I made a face that my dad noticed at once. Oh, no. April, would April. you give me your phone? Yeah, give me a phone. What should I have done? Oh, no. Here you go, dad. Yeah, give it to him. While he was browsing my social apps, his <gasps> face was turning red, pale, no. and red again. Wow. I was trying to turn invisible without any success. No, nope, it's not going to work. That was the first time my dad called me an idiot. <laughs> he called her an idiot. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you, you got to admit, all right, she, she is a bit of an idiot. And what was worse, <laughs> I agreed. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, it didn't end well. Oh, no. They haven't found the gang so far. Wow. But at least I have learned the lesson, which is not posting personal stuff online. Yeah. Don't. Especially when you're going away. That's the worst thing to do. If you are going away on vacation, you know, how stupid can you be, you know? But yeah, like, I guess some kids, you know, that they, they don't think about, like, how scary the real world is, man. But yeah, like, I, I think, you know, be careful the stuff you post, you know, don't post too much personal information, you know? I mean, you can use it and stuff, but yeah, like, when you, when you are going away, you know, definitely don't say you're going away, you know, because you are asking to get burgled because, yeah, no one's home, you know? That's, that's so bad. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna end the video there. That was actually happened, okay? A YouTube a great YouTube channel, honestly, all right? And I'm seeing a lot of these, like, YouTube animation channels pop up here and there, all right? And I think this one is pretty good, all right? So if you have, like, a personal story, feel free to send it to them, all right? Or go check out their YouTube channel. They have some great stories, some great content. You might learn some things. Either way, though, I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video, man. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.